Fitness is a Lifestyle. Everybody, this is our little buddy, our Cardinal. He's obsessed with his reflection in our sliding glass door. And he comes to visit us every morning and every evening. There he is. Where is this top water? Uh oh. Pumping? I'm getting in trouble. We don't need this. We don't own the plants or. Yeah, because I already filled up the plant and it was already too much water in there. Anyway, a more. Mm -hmm. Following me. Our little birds. He's right there. Don't scare him away. He'll come back. He knows me already. It's my buddy. Let's put some water for him. Venga, venga. Ya le puse agüita. He's just sitting there on the chair, looking at me. Oh, he flew away. Where is he now? Comes. Feel better? Yeah, no wasted water. It's not wasted water. It's wasted water. You know why I threw that away? Okay. Because we look good right now, right? Our, we got our hair cut. Uh -huh. So during the pandemic, one of the nice things is that um, one of our neighbors happens to be a barber. And um, so to be safe, we've been having him come to the house and give us haircuts. He wears a mask, we wear a mask. I actually have a barber chair here at the house, which is kind of a strange thing to have, but I had one in my studio because I did a photo shoot years ago where I needed one. So we brought it home. And um, so I had pulled that water out and gave him some water when he was here and that was sitting on the counter. So I think that was the leftover water uh, from him. Okay. And I didn't want to drink leftover water from yeah. anybody but you. so. That's the reason I was getting in trouble, everyone. <laughs> but anyway. We don't waste water. We use it in the plants yeah. or for the birds. He's, or... he's absolutely right. So, you are right. He's back. I can hear him. Yeah. That cardinal, he's out of control. He's like pecking at the it's window. It's funny because he he's very active in the mornings. Right. And in the afternoon, during the middle of the day, he, yeah. I don't know where he goes, probably with his nest. So. We hope so. We've seen him before with... Um, uh, female cardinal because they are not red the males are red but we've only seen her once so we're hoping that maybe there's a nest and maybe uh, that's why he's so active and he's coming here and getting food or whatever yeah. but he spends a lot of time looking at himself <laughs> in our window anyway we're getting ready to go do some errands um, it's been a while since we did a regular vlog and this vlog is going to be a little bit different as well um, I was going through some archival footage, and uh, Juan Carlos and I dined last year at the what was formerly known as the Empress Lily, and now it's called Paddlefish, which is a restaurant at Disney Springs. And um, we didn't have the greatest dining experience there, but it wasn't horrible either, right? I mean, your food was, was just fine. It was just fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, For you know. For Disney... The thing is, it was just fine, but when you go to a, a, you know, to a restaurant in Disney, you expect more. Than yes, this. yeah, our expectations were much higher. So we're going to go ahead and share that video with you all because we think it's important and you might enjoy that. So check out our dining experience at the Paddlefish in September last year and uh, stay tuned for lots more videos to come. We are coming to you from Disney Springs, where directly behind us is what is currently called Paddlefish. And that is where we're having dinner tonight. But I wanted to take you back in time a little bit, a little historical reference for you, in case you don't know. Walt Disney World opened in 1971, and just a few short years later, in 1975, this beautiful riverboat came here to what was then called the Disney Village Marketplace. 
and it was called the Empress Lily. And it opened, and it was here until the mid-2000s, until Disney Springs came along. So the Empress Lily was a restaurant here at Walt Disney World, and you used to be able to dine with the Disney characters on it, and a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. So they renovated the restaurant, now it's called Paddlefish, and it's part of Disney Springs. So we just wanted to give you a little history. It's starting to rain on us, so we're gonna take a photo get inside, and yeah. get inside and show you a little bit about what Paddlefish, this is the first time I'm eating here under the new umbrella of this restaurant. <laughs> Vamos. Vamos. everyone so we are seated here at Paddlefish unlike most of the other restaurants they actually give you a paper menu here that they will throw away yeah um, and it's a limited menu they don't have everything that they typically do apparently we were told by our waitress but it's still a pretty extensive menu um, and uh, I'll put a link down below so you can kind of go and peruse the menu yourself but we've made some decisions so one promise what are we getting for appetizers so as appetizers, we're having uh, the lobster corn dogs, and then we're also having the uh, New England clam chowder. Yes, clam chowder. And I, I'm going to give you a little uh, background. Lobster corn dog sounds interesting, right? And our waitress was kind enough to tell us that it's it's basically five um, sliced lobster tails skewered like on a steak skewer, and then tempura sort of fried. So we're gonna we're gonna try, we'll that. try that. And here she is. <laughs> and you can hear what we're going to order for dinner too. So we have decided we're going to try those lobster corn dogs. If you don't like them, I'll eat them for you. <laughs> and then um, we're going to each get a clam chowder as well. Does, does it come in a bread bowl? By I'm sorry? In a bread bowl? No. No? Just a regular bowl. Just a regular bowl. Well, oh well. <laughs> sorry. I, for my main course, I'm going to have the king crab. And that comes with corn. Red skin potatoes and corn on the top. Perfect. Yeah. And for you? For me, I'll have the uh, stuffed cow. The stuffed cow? Yes. Okay. And then it has a homemade cornbread stuffing with shrimp and scallops in the stuffing. And yes. then the Dijon dressing on top of that. Sounds good. Did you, can I bring the uh, corn dogs and the soup at the same time? Yes, you can. Okay, the corn dogs, if I'm not here, when they get delivered, I suggest that you take your fork and stab them because with them being flash fried, that first bite will be a scorcher. It could be really hot. Okay. okay. Thank you for telling us that. No problem. And we do, um, we whip these up in front of you so you know that we're not serving them to another guest. I believe you. You don't have to. But I do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's so kind. So there you go. You got to hear what we're ordering. So king crab for me, stuffed pod for Juan Carlos. And as I was saying, we're getting the lobster uh, corn dogs, as they call them. Yeah, sounds good. And it's, they sound delicious. Mm -hmm. And it's served with some sort of aioli. So stay tuned. When the food gets here, of course, we're going to share it with you. Well, not really, but you get to see it. <laughs> we get to see it and hear our, our commentary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, and um, we're definitely socially distanced. Um, we're in one, there's many, there's several dining rooms within the boat. Um, because of the current times, typically I would get up and run around and give you footage, but I don't think that's appropriate because everybody's socially distancing. We're on the aft or the back of the ship and the paddle wheel is out the window. Uh, right now it's dark out, so you really can't see it, but I showed, I showed you a view of it before we came here. So we just received our clam chowder and our lobster skewers. They're quite cute. Um, so we're gonna try our food, shall we? Yeah. We received. Um, yeah, we got bowls. bowls. <laughs> we ordered the cups, but they gave us these giant bowls. I'll take it. <laughs> she was like, "Oh, I'll take it back," and I said, "Oh, no, 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 you won't." <laughs> Quite a hefty amount. Ooh, it's very hot. No, it's not too bad. No? Mm -hmm. 
fight. Yeah, he's gone too cocky. Very good. Creamy. Yeah, it's good. It's creamy. It's got good flavor. It's yeah. not overpowering. Sometimes a clam chowder can be a little too fishy. Mm -hmm. Certainly not that. And um, yeah, it's got nice chunks of potato and clam. So nice combination. It'd be great if it came in a bread bowl. In a bread bowl, bowl. yeah. But we're not in San Francisco. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so now you guys can actually see our dishes. We thought we'd. <laughs> Get to, uh, you didn't get to try we didn't again. try that yet. Did you stab him? Not yet. Okay. I will do it. <laughs> Our waitress told us that we should stab the um, lobster. Oh. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Just because they've been flash pan fried and to make sure that the heat gets out of them and that we don't burn our mouths. So that was quite kind of her. So shall we try each one of these? See. Can we show everybody. The breading is good, but as you saw, it was very difficult. I thought I could bite and get a piece, but the entire thing came off. So, if you come here, just be aware of that. Um, do you mind you could, Yeah, go ahead. But yeah, the flavoring is good. I like the coating. Um, that's different. The sauce it's got a little kick to it. Yeah, that's a good, good appetizer. Definitely, you can see it's a lot of meat and the steam coming off there. So you definitely get a lot of lobster meat. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping they had lobster roll right here. <laughs> yeah. I like the skewer. So have any of you dined here at Paddlefish? If so, give us a comment below. What was your favorite dish? What did you like? Good job. Do you use the crackers? Or no, I don't usually. I don't like them. Juan Carlos, you like them. Yeah, sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. Okay. <laughs> it's not that I don't like them. I just, um, I've never been a big fan of crackers in my soup. Uh -huh. I like, like crackers. I would eat them just by themselves. I just don't. I like them because of the, um, the you know, crunch. crunch. Yeah. But I won't eat them by themselves because it's, it's yeah, they're boring. for <laughs> flavor. But... Isn't that funny? See, yin and yang. That's what we got going on here. Very much and like for a successful uh, relationship. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> that's why. That's why I got married to him because he, he's so classy. <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say for a successful relationship, you don't always have to like the same thing, eat the same way, or whatever. That's what makes us special, you know. <laughs> and we appreciate each other's differences. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And sharing is caring. There were five, so we each got two. And a half. And a half. Ow. Oh. It's because I love him. And I love him. You do? <gasps> he loves me, everyone. <laughs> anyway. All right. Next up, our main courses. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you. Yours looks so tiny compared to mine. <laughs> Wow, everybody, check it out. Alaskan king crab. Nice big portion. And Juan Carlos has got the stuffed cod with asparagus, new potatoes. I've got corn on the cob. And uh, 
<laughs> new potatoes. Got my little tools. Tools, my crab cracker. My crab cracker. <laughs> Like, I forgot these are the, the Alaskan ones are the ones that I'll cut you. Remember when we were, we were in Alaska, Juan Carlos and I, mm -hmm. and we have a photo of us like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's recreate that photo for them. Ready? <laughs> All right. We're going to dig in here. Oh no, I'm good. You got it? Yep. I grew up in New England. This is how I. I do. 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 You split them? Yeah, because I always have trouble with I try to loosen it up and then. And then I go like this. Yeah. Well, these are a little soggy. Yeah, that's why I don't do it. These are very soggy. If you'd like to, but I'm a little disappointed at how soggy these are. <laughs> I, I think if you let me let me crack them, it, it, maybe it'd just be because that one got too scrunched up. If, if you think they're soggy after I crack one, then you can tell me. No, no, it's that. fine. I'll try. I'll get in there. I'll be glad to take them back. No, you don't need to. I'll, I'll do it. That's sort of the fun of it. Okay. <laughs> thank you. You're thank you. Do you want one more iced tea? Yes, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, I didn't want her touching my food with her glovey hands. I'm a little freaked out right now. Like, she's been running around here grabbing stuff and touching with her gloves, and she just touched my food. Um, all right, take a deep breath. <laughs> So, sorry for that, but I'm just being honest. All right, we're going in to crack some crab. It's a little challenging because the crab here, I'll be honest, is a little soggy, and uh, typically that's not the case. struggle but I finally got a nice piece out. <laughs> How's the the cod? So the flavor of the crab is very good. The fact that they are a little overcooked and soggy is not good for charging $75 for one pound of crab meat. It should be cooked to perfection, and I'm being honest that it's not. The flavor is good, but just giving you my honest opinion. Potatoes are really good. Well, this is really, really, really good. <laughs> the stuffing is very good. I like it. Yeah, I want to take a bite. I'll give you some crab as soon as I am able to get through it. So I won't eat too much. Just yeah, you can have. Take a take a roll. It's fine. <laughs> They're not. Are these made in? Um, not ovens? What? The 
corn. The corn. I'm not sure how they do it. It's really smoky, and I like it. It's got a little smoky flavor, yeah. It's very good. Do you want some of this? I do want to try a bite. Let me get a little. Sharing is caring, so we can get some of the stuff. Here. I got a little bit of it. Oh, it's very good. It's very light flavored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm happy eating. Ordered that because I don't have the patience. I'll be like, I'm not eating this. <laughs> yeah, you would have been done. Um, no, no, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Sorry. It makes it harder because these have thorns on them and they're mm, sharp. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Finally, it's like victory. <laughs> now we can enjoy it. <laughs> After sweat, tears, and blood. <laughs> no blood. I got a couple little pokes on the finger, but no blood. <laughs> How you doing, okay? I think I did pretty good. Yeah, I think right. you did. Now I got all the meat. It was, the struggle was real, but we got there. <laughs> it's half the fun, right? Yeah, I'm going to take this one out of the way. Sure. And there's another one in a new straw there for you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Officially, the crab has been all cut. I'm going to take the remainder of my mantequilla. My mantequilla? In, enjoy the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Would you like another bite? Yeah, see. No. Good stuff. Almost feels, feels like cheese. <laughs> Almost feels like cheese. Yeah. <laughs> like a, yeah, like a, a, a mozzarella. Uh huh. I can see that. So how about y'all? Do you like king crab, snow crab? Any preferences? Sort of shellfish. Shellfish, lobster, shrimp, other types of crabs. Blue crab, South Florida stone crabs. I, was, I uh, rescued a blue crab once from the pool, remember? He did. We, When the crabs are in mating season in South Florida, somehow every year a couple find their way in the bottom of the pool. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea why. <laughs> and then they can't get out. Obviously. They get in there, but they can't get out. So hopefully we find them in time and rescue them. The struggle was real, but the result was worth it. Man versus beast. Or beast versus beast. Salute to all of those sailors up there in Alaska that put their life on the line so that I could enjoy that. <laughs> That's why it's so expensive. It's one mm -hmm. of the most. Well, yeah, we watched it. We've actually been, if you watch our, oh, yeah. actually do we don't have a video of it, do we? Mm, no, I don't think. If you look at our Instagram though, I think there's a photo somewhere on our Instagram of us. Uh, we were on one of the ships that they do um, Deadliest Catch, the TV show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We went out. Yeah, but that was almost three, three years, years ago. ago. Before we started doing yeah, YouTube. We started. Well, together. Officially. That was great. I'm going to go to the restroom now so I can wash my hands. We'll be back. We'll make a decision about dessert, maybe. We are done with our dinner. We have. We have completed our dinner here at Paddlefish Juan Carlos. 
overall impression? My my dinner, my um, fish was really good. I love the, um, the stuffing, it was very good. The potatoes were, were good. Um, it was a good size, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the soup was very good. And the, um, the corn dog. No. Yeah, the corn dog uh, um, lobster. Yeah, yeah. those were tasty too. No. Yeah. So I agree, definitely the soup, fantastic clam chowder, great, great flavor, great taste. The uh, corn dog lobster, loved it. A um, little disappointed in my king crab. The flavor of the king crab was good, but the way it was cooked, and, and you know, steaming them is fine, uh, but it's an art to making them still be able to crispy break so that you can get the meat out without struggling. And when they are soggy, it's difficult. Yeah. And this is a premium restaurant, so my expectations were much higher at the restaurant. So that's my honest opinion. It took me a long time, almost 20 minutes, to open up those. <laughs> so. We have decided to opt out of dessert. So okay. thank you. Well, if you decide that you're opting out just because it's our dessert, you're not happy with the selection. Oh, no, no, no. Have, um, it's it's show just... Whip out there now. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it's fine. <laughs> We're full. <laughs> so continuing. So, yeah, I mean, um, so based on that, um, I personally would not be running to come back here again. I think that the, the atmosphere is fine. Um, but it wasn't like one of, it's not a favorite. This would no, not, no. it's not on my list to, to return to. I'm glad we came here. It was fine, uh, but it would not be one of my recommendations. You might be different. Maybe. I mean, based on mine, yes, because it was, everything was good. But if you're coming for the uh, key crop, there, maybe probably. Yeah. Not. <laughs> so, yeah. So there you go. My expectations were much higher of this restaurant. Again, it's it's a good place. The the food was decent, um, but yeah, probably not coming back again. So there you have it. So I'm still happy though, and remember, a happiness is a lifestyle. <laughs> so we appreciate you watching as always. Hopefully this uh, benefited you. And if you've been here before, did you have a similar experience? Was your uh, if you had the king crab? Tell me, was yours more? Able, easier to break or was yours also steamed so soggy that it made it really difficult to get the meat out? Put a comment below. Let us know. Maybe your experience was much better than ours. Until next time though, thanks a lot everybody. We appreciate you watching and uh, don't forget subscribe. Do it. Subscribe right now. Alright. Ciao everyone.